Hey Leo, welcome to Queen Airbnb Tarot. Today we're going to do your general love read for the end of June. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. So for all of the new viewers, I'm an intuitive tarot card reader, which means I read the traditional sense of the card, but more than anything, I'm always going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. I charge both of my decks on top of crystal organite pups, and doing so, it charges, balances, and aligns the energy for our reading, and also meditate over the collective energy. So again, this reading is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, and as always, I hope everyone is doing well. When I was meditating over you guys' energy, I heard the song, I Need Love, by SWV. I'm going to leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading. Now, first of all, this is my second time doing you guys' reading. I started, and when I got midway towards it, I was immediately guided to scrap the whole video because I knew there was different messages that I needed to relate to you guys. Also, when I was doing a pre-shuffle, I kept getting the same cards that was in your first spread. So I feel like they wanted me to deliver it in a completely different way. And that was a message for me also that someone's delivery has thrown you off it's thrown off communication between you and this person because either the delivery that you've given or the delivery that they're given or not given is affecting your relationship with someone i'm also picking up especially with that song that some of you guys after a time of a self-induced hermit type of stage some of you guys are now opening yourself and available to um new love that's what i'm picking up but i will also tell you and i know everyone hates this but i have to say it because i did see it i've seen the six of cups and then i've seen the four of wands so some of you guys may be reconciling with a past soulmate someone that you have history with and it's going to lead to some long-term commitment okay so i did see that and that's for some of you guys if you don't want that then you know you have free will and it won't apply to you but i did see that so i do have to call it like i see it okay so we're going to change the cards so that we can get a different card at the bottom of the deck. And I'm going to show you there are absolutely no reversals in either one of the decks. So you have a nine of cups. There's some type of fulfillment that's getting ready to come in for you guys. I'm going to tell you also, for a great deal of you all, because I feel like a lot of you all are single. And I do feel like this new person who's coming in is going to be absolutely everything that you wanted in a partnership. Or at least that's how it's going to feel to a great deal of you all, okay? As we part of the deck. Yeah. Yeah. Four of Cups, because something in the past was unfulfilling to you with the Four of Cups. You see how she's not very happy. She has Four Cups in front of her, and she doesn't even notice this one right here. So for a lot of you all that's watching, I feel like you're single, and there's something new coming in, because you see how the cup is behind her. And cups are always about emotions. It's something that's, you know, emotionally fulfilling and has to do with love and things like that. Something is coming in, and you guys can't see it yet, because you're still kind of healing. And for your clarifying deck, you, yeah, Seven of Pentacles, you guys stop building with someone. Because you see how his eyes are directly on these dead leaves. Some of you guys feel like there wasn't growth in a past situation, and that's why you're newly single, right? As we part of the deck to show you there's no... <laughs> and i seen the Hermit, and I just said Hermit mode. Some of you guys definitely went into Hermit mode. And as I part of the deck to show you guys that there were no reversals, look at that. Hermit mode. Some of you guys can have Virgo on your chart. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. But more than anything, I feel like you guys just took some time to yourself to reflect after being in a relationship that didn't make you very happy. You just took some steps back. And then the other card that was peeking out is the World card. I'm sorry, the Wheel of Fortune. You know, there's something. There's an end of one cycle and something new and prosperous is coming in for you guys. And it's written in the stars. And remember I just said I've seen the Four of Wands. Something that's going to lead to like long-term commitment and marriage. Every single one of them have a book in their hands. Like, and for me, that's always a message. Like, it's already been written. It's already been written in the stars for you and this person to be aligned. So that's what I'm picking up for you guys, okay? So let's part the deck so that we can shuffle. Yep. And I just said that this is going to be a victorious situation. Look at that. You had a nine of cups, everything that you wanted, and some. And then the nine of wands. That's victory. And this is you guys' energy, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm feeling victorious, moving towards the future. So let's get two cards. One is going to be a general energy, and the second is going to be a possible outcome, and then we'll get clarifiers for both. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Let's see what we got. <laughs> and we just had the Wheel of Fortune, right, in the last, in the clarifying deck, and you have it again. You're coming out of your head about some situation, and you know what? Also, in your first reading that I had to stop, I did pick up strong air sign energy also, so some of you guys could um, be dealing or was dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individual. And the Wheel of Fortune is, you know, like I said before, I feel like something positive is coming for you guys. Very positive. 
and this is something that you've been waiting for for a while and you feel like now the, the wheel is finally turning in your favor and that's definitely the case definitely in your head a lot if it's not this other person air sign person with the eight of swords being in your head a lot feeling conflicted about a situation but it's positive because at the bottom of the deck now you had an eight of swords in reverse okay so let's get two cards for leo sun moon rising venus individuals two cards for leo sun moon rising venus individuals Hmm. And I'm I'm hearing the SWV song again. Some of you guys may have just listened to SWV not that long ago. Wow, again, look at that. And with the Eight of Swords, okay, and just the sheer fact that I'm talking about this song again, you definitely need to listen to the song, listen to the lyrics, because I feel like it has something to do with how you have been feeling lately. Keep in mind the source is about communication and also the thoughts. And it's coming up in reverse. So also with that song, I feel like some of you guys may have been listening to songs um that make you emotional or made you feel very depressed and you're coming out of that with the eight of swords in reverse which is positive you got a page of pentacles in reverse some of you guys could have, i feel like could have been dealing with an earth sign towards virgo capricorn someone rising venus and you are the if you have a person coming back who's an earth sign i feel like you're going to decline this person okay and then i say some of you guys are dealing with an air sign or were dealing with the air sign because you have the ace of swords in reverse the ace of swords upright is about clear-cut communication something that's decisive something that's direct something that has clarity in reverse i feel like a lot yeah you guys are definitely dealing with air sign gemini Libra, aquarius sun moon rising venus and within this situation i feel like you guys were lacking clarity as to how to deal with this person i'm picking up let's hold the clarifying deck down and get an additional message yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Like I said, I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely single. You're working on your finances. You're working on yourself. You're focusing on yourself. Um, I'm also hearing, and I really hit up with this card, but I'm hearing that some of you guys are taking care of your grooming. You're changing your appearance. I'm hearing that also. Also, I always see with this card, this yellow energy everywhere. That's your solar plexus chakra. So some of you guys are working on your emotions, right? Clear as day. Some of you guys are working on your emotions. I'm also picking up with this card. Cause you know with the ace of swords that's again that's mental and that's communication i feel like there was lack of some negative communication between you especially if you were dealing with someone with strong air sign placements in their chart there could have been a great deal of confusion mm -hmm. yeah there was a great deal of confusion with you and this person because the eight of swords you know being in your head i want to turn it upright so you can see the imagery being in your head feeling like you don't have clarity and truth in a situation is coming up in reverse so it's like some type of clarity is coming to you but it's just not complete it's not completely true or you feel like this person was dishonest with the ace of swords and you feel like it was you took it majorly because it's an ace so you took this i feel like it was an idea of dishonesty because to be quite honest with you eight of swords is self-inflicted because look at it she can walk away from those swords her, she's free she's not even bound to anything she has her hands up right here she can take these blindfolds off her eyes and everything but she's choosing to stay in this state of heaviness because look at even the clouds in the background are heavy you know there's it, i feel like whatever this was between you and this air sign individual it was just lack of clarity because ace of swords is definitely about major clarity there was lack of clarity in the situation wow okay look at that and that's be part of the deck now it's interesting you had an ace of cups and then right next to it, you have the nine of pentacles. So some of you guys are definitely single, but just like the song, I need love. I feel like some of you guys are open and welcome to new love coming in. I do feel like that's the case because, again, that's an ace. I'm also picking up, I just heard that some of you guys are open to it, but you're not expressing it. Like, you you can kind of come off as, <laughs> yeah, you're not expressing it. You can kind of come off as, although you're not interested in love. Because now you have an Ace of Cups in reverse, but then you have your card, the Sun card, upright. So, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you were definitely going through some heavy things. Keep in mind. And now it's in reverse, right? And now you guys are getting ready to have some type of healing. I also feel like, like I said, with this Ace of Swords in reverse, I feel like now you guys are getting clarity about a situation. Or you may have recently got some clarity about something. I feel like someone's reaching out to you. Even though this Ace of Swords is in reverse, I feel like someone's reaching out to you, but you may not trust it. And that's why the Ace of Swords is in reverse. Yep, you don't trust it. Look at that. You guys are definitely dealing with the air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You had a King of Swords in reverse. I always tell you guys when the swords are up, that's yes. When it's down, it's no. So some of you guys don't trust this communication that came from this person. I, although I feel like this person is being very sincere, I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. I feel like this person is being sincere. I feel like it's major misunderstandings. 
A lot of you guys don't see a future with this individual. You feel like you're, you don't want to put in any more work to try to get to know this person or to continue a friendship with this individual. Some cards flew out, but they flipped down, so I'm going to keep shuffling. We're going to get a clarifier for the Eight of Swords and the Ace of Swords. A lot of you guys are definitely dealing with an air sign. Leo says Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So, yeah, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you have some earth sign placements in your chart with this person. Because you can feel like this person is not worth you even putting the effort into. Or literally with the Eight of Swords in reverse, right? And that's your main energy. And clarifying that you have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. It's like some of you guys really did see this person as a false queen. Like at one point, you may have put this person on a pedestal. King or queen, doesn't matter. You may have put this person on a pedestal. And, you know, they had you in your head about the situation. Because there was some, there was definitely, with all the sword energy, there was some miscommunication that took place. And so you no longer see this person as someone, you, you've you taken them off this pedestal that you put them on at one point. That's I'm definitely picking that up. Male or female doesn't matter. Yeah. With the world card in reverse. Because you feel like you can't move forward with this individual. You feel like that cycle is done. And you don't see them moving into your future. And it's interesting because what just almost flipped out was the Four of Pentacles. So somebody's holding on to someone in this situation. Okay. Wow. That flipped up. What do we got? Wow. King of Cups in reverse. So for your possible outcome, you have the Ace of Swords in reverse next to the um, Knight of Cups. I'm, I'm going to tell you, I, it really does seem like some of you guys... I feel like somebody's definitely going to reach out to you. Some type of communication because we had too much sword energy. I feel like somebody's going to reach out, but you're not going to trust this individual. You're not going to feel like this is something that can move forward. And you're not going to extend your cup. Because the Knight of Cups is always about, you know, this this is a knight. This person is coming in with their cup. They're offering it. They're not accepting it. They're offering it. You see how this horse is going in the direction towards love. And it's interesting because even now, even now I'm still hearing the song. Huh. Okay, and as I'm hearing a song, I, yeah, okay. So the message I'm picking up, as I'm hearing a song, again, I feel like some of you guys feel like this person is not being truthful with how they feel about you. Because this is how the cards would be on the table. You see how he's facing the direction of the Ace of Swords in reverse, especially if you're dealing with a air sign. Because keep in mind, again, cups, that's the emotions, right? And it feels like with all of this, all, every single card of your four cards is in reverse. It feels like this person truly has love for you, but they're not expressing it. They're not telling you straight out that's why this Ace of Swords is in reverse. They're not coming straight out and telling you how they feel about you. Now, keep in mind, you have a Queen of Pentacles. And then you have a sword, right? And you see how she has on her crown and there's a crown right here on this sword? You may have really put this person on a pedestal, but they weren't. It's like you knocked them off of that pedestal because it's like if you truly love me and you really are the strong person I see you to be, why are you fighting your emotions? Because somebody's definitely fighting their emotions. Also, look at this right here. On each side, there's eagles. Eagles are always about truth, clarity, and strength, and being fearless. This person in reverse, this person is not being fearless, and they're not just coming right out and telling you how you feel, how they feel, rather. They're not coming out and telling you how they feel. They're holding everything to their chest. They're holding everything to themselves. But I'm going to tell you also, with the Eight of Swords in reverse, if this person was holding things to their chest, to their chest and keeping it to themselves, they're no longer going to be able to do this. Because I feel like holding this stuff to themselves kept them feeling entrapped, kept them feeling like a slave to their own thoughts. Because she's definitely a slave to her own thoughts. Again, she's not, there's nothing that's keeping her from walking out of those swords. She's choosing to be in it. But that's upright. It came up in reverse. So I feel like, like I said, if you haven't had communication from someone, specifically an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, someone rising Venus, you're going to hear from this individual. Because they, they don't want to be in their head about it anymore. And I feel like this is also very hard for them. They don't feel very um, proud of their actions. Also, because keep in mind, Pentacles is also about being grounded, stable, and secure. They feel like they found security and stability within you, male or female, again, you know, besides the fact this is a queen. I feel like this person really has strong feelings for you, but they were fear. I feel like they were fearful of it. They were fearful of their own emotions. And this is why you guys have separated or someone chose to walk away because there wasn't a uh, open rapport as far as communication in, in regards to feelings. I know for a fact, you know, this person was not, you know, giving their feelings and sharing their feelings and emotions with you. They weren't. It, it came up in reverse. Okay. So Leo, someone rising to Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.